Hey guys, today in this Monster Legends Leaks video, we have a bunch of new leaked movesets, including the brand new Ancestor right here. So let's just go and get started with the brand new Ancestor. So it is a Fire and Earth tank with a Megaton as a Virtue, which is incredible. Wow, you cannot remove that actually. And Control Immunity as a trait, which is also a really good trait. So that is quite incredible. That's very good. And now it's going down to the move. So he has a 50% damage reduction with life regen to all allies. The damage protection is only on himself though. And removes control effects from all allies. Which is pretty decent. He also has an AoE earth damage with earth weakness. Which is pretty good. He has an AoE fire weakness as well actually. So that's pretty good. And he does have a lot of high damaging fire moves like this one. And some high damaging earth moves as well. So he will be able to do quite a bit of damage. And he does actually have an AoE Fire Weakness and Earth Weakness as well to help out with that. So that seems pretty great. And you can also heal all allies by 20% and apply Life Regen to them. So overall, pretty decent monster. He's got some pretty great moves. I feel like he's going to be one of the best tanks in the game. He just seems like an overall really good tank. And we don't even have all of his traits or even what you need to get the Virtue. I actually think we do have that, right? Yeah, Receive Control Effects. So that actually is not that hard. Except if you're going up against people that don't have controllers, then you're just kind of screwed. And you can't even get the Megaton, so that might actually be not that great. But yeah, overall it seems like a pretty decent monster. It seems like it'll be pretty good. So let's go ahead and look at Blindosaur now. Which is an Earth Attacker with Blind Immunity as a trait and Damage Boost. So Blind Immunity sucks as a trait. That is not a good trait. And Damage Boost is good though. So let's go ahead and take a look. It has a Moderate Earth Damage to all enemies with Days to all enemies, which is okay. It does have a massive earth damage with damage boost, which is pretty good. It has a double healing to itself with life regen. That actually isn't too great. It does also have a heavy earth damage with double damage. But that's a pretty good move. I do like that. It has a heavy earth damage to all enemies with removes torture from himself, which is okay. It also has a double six maximum life and applies double healing to itself. So overall, not a very good monster. Blind Sword just isn't that great. I don't like that at all. And now we have Herario. Which is a middle in nature support with healing and reverse healing skills. So this monster has a single target nanovirus which is okay. It also has a heals one ally by 50% and applies a random positive status effect which is alright as well. Neither of those are too good though. It also has a heals one ally by 50% and applies a random positive effect which can be good I guess. And then it also has a heals all allies by 40% and gives life regen. That's okay. He also has a deals heavy metal damage with reverse healing and vulnerable. I actually kind of like that. That's a cool move. And then it has an AoE metal damage and a reverse healing AoE. So overall, it seems like a decent monster. I mean, I guess it's not really too great though, but it can do quite a bit of damage, which is pretty cool. And yeah, it does have some reverse healing moves, but it doesn't look like it has any moves that heal the enemies to make use of that reverse healing. So I'm not sure if that will really be any good, but it does have vulnerable as well, which is pretty great. Vulnerable is a very good effect. So overall, decent monster, I guess. And then we have a Blast Strudon, which is a fire attacker with dodge area status caster, which is okay, I guess. It being status caster isn't great. And then it also has burn and ignite, which is pretty good. So it has a heavy fire damage to all enemies with a burn to all enemies, which is pretty good. It also has a applies ignite to one enemy and gives one extra turn to himself, which is pretty good. It has a heals all allies by 20% with aquaphobic shield, which is pretty good. I do like aquaphobic shield. That is actually pretty darn strong. It also has a insane fire damage with ignite, which is pretty good, and an extra turn burn, which is okay, I guess. That's actually not too great. It does have an extra turn ignite as well, though, so I guess that's fine. You can have a burn and ignite on without getting hit, as long as they don't have anticipation, though. That could be a pain. But yeah, overall, decent monster. This one's better than the last, but it's still not too good, I guess. It's not really super strong. I do like Aquaphobic Shield though, so that is pretty cool. And then we have Aposu, which is a nature and light attacker with frosted and extra turn skills, which sounds pretty cool. It has a single target frosted with extra turn, which is pretty good. It has a low nature damage with extra turn, which is also pretty decent. It has a low light damage with frosted to all enemies, which is really good. I like that. It also has a frosted to one enemy. So overall, not too many good moves, but yeah, it's okay, I guess. It's not really super strong though, it won't really be that strong at all. I honestly don't really like this one that much. I do usually like extra turn monsters a lot, but this one in particular isn't too great. I don't really see anything special about it. And then we have the last monster we're going to look at in this video, which is Presentus, which sounds like a Christmas monster. And it is a nature magic controller with Mega Freeze, 
Freeze, Curse, Poison, Anticipation, and Stamina Restore. So, overall, that is a ton of stuff. And most of it sounds really good. Mega Freeze is great. Freeze is pretty good as well. Curse is great. Anticipation is pretty good. And all the other ones are just okay. So, overall, sounds pretty good so far. So, it has a Mega Freeze to one enemy with low match damage to all enemies and freeze to all enemies. That is really good. I like that move a lot. Does it have an AoE Mega Freeze, though? It doesn't look like it. So, yeah, that isn't great. It does have a single target Roots and Poison, which is okay. It has a single target Freeze. It also has a single target Poison. It has Anticipation and 50% Stamina Leak to itself, which is alright. That's pretty decent, I guess. It has Anticipation to itself with 50% Stamina to all allies, which is okay. That's okay as well. It also has a Curse and Poison to all enemies, which is pretty good. And a Poison and Curse to one enemy. So, overall, this monster isn't very great either, to be honest. Honestly, none of these are really very strong, except for maybe the Ancestor. The Ancestor definitely seems usable. It seems pretty good, but even the Ancestor, you kind of need to have monsters on the enemy team with control moves in order for them to even be good. I mean, I guess it has some decent moves as well if you don't get that Megaton, but you do kind of need Megaton. He doesn't even have any moves like give him Megaton, which is not great. So yeah, you do need the Virtue for him to be a good tank. Unless if he has like Taunt as a trait, that could be good. He will probably have Taunt as a trait and that would make him pretty good. But yeah, still, Megaton is just so much better than Taunt. And in order to get that, you do need to get hit with these moves right here, Control Effects. It does only need to happen twice, but yeah, that won't happen if the enemies don't have any Control Monsters, obviously. So yeah, he'll be good in certain situations. If he has Taunt as a trait, that could make him a little better. But he still won't be super good. He just doesn't seem like a super amazing ancestor. He's definitely not overpowered or anything. So yeah, not a very great monster here. And then we also... Blindosaur wasn't that great either. He was alright though. He was a decent attacker, I guess. And then Herrero. This one just doesn't seem great. I don't really like this one. It does have the highest rating in the Discord server. But overall, I didn't really see it being that good. I guess it's alright. It has Vulnerable, which is great. Vulnerable is really good. And it has some decent healing moves. But yeah, overall, not a super great monster still. And then Blastrudon seemed okay to me. He seems alright. I do like Aquaphobic Shield. And I like that he can do the Ignite and Burn with extra turn. That's pretty good. It is in two separate moves. So if they have Anticipation, you're kind of screwed. But most monsters don't have Anticipation, I guess. Except for the monster down here. This one does have anticipation. But it doesn't even seem that good. So I don't think it'll be used very often. But you got to keep in mind this monster is coming out around the same time as Blastrudon. So you might get screwed over in that. And then Posse is also an extra turn monster. Which can again be countered by Presentis. Which will most likely come out around the same time as this monster. So overall none of these are really too strong. Even the Ancestor just isn't that great. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of all of these. Honestly, the best in my opinion is the Ancestor, but he's still not very good. But yeah, let me know down in the comments if you guys think the Ancestor is good, and if you guys think any of these monsters are good, and what your favorite one is. What one do you think is the strongest and will actually be used in the meta? Or if any will be used in the meta? Personally, I don't think any of them will, but I could be wrong. So yeah, let me know down in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.